here at WLJC. And without you that's watching and you that support um, this station, we couldn't do what we do. And um, those that are sick couldn't be blessed by um, watching at home. So we can continue to pray for us, continue to support this ministry. We know that God will bless. He's still in the saving business, still in the healing business. And whatever we need, He made us a promise He would provide. So continue just to watch us and may God bless you. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to the first night of our second week of our Spring Telethon. We appreciate so much those of you that had a part in last week's Telethon a week and, and we're starting the last, or last week tonight and so we'll just be here two hours each night so we really uh, appreciate how you folk are calling in early. You're not, not waiting for that third hour, which we won't be here. Uh, so we're just <laughs> here two hours, and so get your calls in, and, uh, and we appreciate it. And uh, uh, I can't see those a total yet, uh, but uh, anyway, what are they, Robin? $73,427. Okay, all right, that's our total so right now, but we really need to work on that and we trust that. Yeah, it's a way uh, away from what we're, we're going to uh, be believing the Lord for. He knows what the needs are, and so that's what we're going to do with. I want to mention uh, a few things here um, before we get started. Uh, here is a, a lady from Whitesburg, and she's telling about how that She's 89 years of age, and her husband uh, passed away in December, and, and uh, she wanted, she needed prayer. And uh, here is a salvation report. This Praise is what God. I want to share. An uh, 82-year uh, age a lady, uh, she has called and accepted the Lord Praise on the replay, the on Praise a replay. The Praise the Lord. So that is, uh, that is good. Another, uh, just, I just chose this one letter. Uh, from all that we got today, and, and do appreciate how you're calling of mailing your pledges in before you forget it. But this letter, it said uh, to all of us here at the staff, says, God bless you every, every day and all the good work that you're doing. You will never know on this side of eternity all the lives that you have touched and the souls that were saved because of your precious memories of ministry. I thank God that Intermountain Cable put WLJC channel back on in Pike County. I, I called and told them that it was the best channel that we had had and we really need it every day. And then she signs her name. I appreciate that note yes. and, I, and I thought that you would enjoy it. And uh, so we, uh, we also have a, a special prayer request here for uh, uh, Dennis Lovins. He's a brother to Don and to Lonnie, and he is from Manchester, and he had a massive heart attack this morning, and um, they said the next 36 hours would be critical. He's in the Lexington Hospital, and uh, the doctors told him it was one of the worst kind of heart attack you can have. So uh, anyway, they, uh, the family has requested prayer there, and uh, depending on the Lord to bring them through. And you know, throughout the years, uh, we uh, 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 we have people call and people and everybody pray. See, when we share this, then a lot of good old seasoned saints they're so used to praying and talking to the Lord. By then, you know, they automatically go to, uh, talking right. and go praying pray. for that. Right. And so uh, that's why the ministry is important, and that's why that uh, we uh, that we need to keep it keep it uh, going and. Uh, so forth and um, we have a lot of good help and uh, so uh, Larry Collins is here tonight so Larry what's on your heart? 
Well, praise the Lord, Sister Margaret. I'm <clears throat> happy to be here. It's the first night I've got to be a part of the telethon. We were kind of out of town some last week, but we're here tonight and <clears throat> anxious to see what God's going to do, looking forward to what God's going to do. And I believe that we can change that number from $73,427. We ought to be able to at least hit 100000 tonight. Right. We ought to be able to shoot for that and go for that. If we go over that, that'd be all right, too. Praise the Lord. But we're just glad to be here tonight. And we know that the Lord is going to supply. We're just praying that the Lord will touch your heart. If you've not called yet and made your pledge, then you need to do that. Just ask the Lord what you can do, what the Lord would have you to do, and pick up that phone tonight and call in and make your pledge. Churches, if you're out there and you're, you've not made your pledges yet, you've not uh, got into this yet, get with us. Glory to God. Get on board here with us tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Our church is fixing to make her donation here in just a little bit. We always do every telethon. We try to do a, a six-month thing and, and, st and stay with them and try to help all we can. If the churches would just come together and begin to work in this and begin to yes. feed into this station, yes. glory to God. Hallelujah. The yes. souls that can be yes. touched and be reached through this. I know we meet people all the time where we come and sing over here or whatever we do over here. We run into people in different states and everywhere that we go. Well, I believe I've seen you on TV on WLJC, so it reaches out, it touches lives, and it changes lives. Glory to God. I know I've had a, a young man, or well, he's not really a young man. He was probably then, but he's probably the same age I am now. He's getting a little older. But anyway, I ran into him at Walmart one time, and he told me, he said, you don't know me. He said, but I know you. Yeah. He said, I saw you on WLJC, and he said, you all were singing one night, and you were speaking to a backslider. And he mm -hmm. said, I'm that man. He said, I was the man that you was talking to. He said, I went into the woods. And he said, I began to call on the Lord and began to ask the Lord to forgive me of my backsliding and my sin. Yes. And that man got right with God. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Right. And that touched my life. Glory to God. Yes. It really did. It encouraged, it encouraged me to keep pressing on because yes. sometimes we get weary. That's right. We do. We get weary. Yes. Just like you, we get weary. But things come along and, and somebody walks up and say, hey, you touched our life yes. with a song or a word of testimony. And that encourages us to keep pressing and keep yes. moving. Yes. But you pray tonight and ask God what he would have you to do to help support this station and get in here with us and get on board with us. Glory to God. And God will bless you for it. Not only that, I'm not always saying that God will return you in money, but you've got people that's lost and undone. I know we've all got lost family. Right. Praise the Lord. And we give into the ministry. And whenever we place something in the ministry, we're sowing seeds into that ministry. And God right. blesses us in other ways. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. But if you're out there tonight, remember, Jesus is the reason that we're here tonight. Glory to God. Yes. And we're here tonight to reach souls. Yes. But just be praying for us and pray for these singers. They're going to be singing some here in a little bit. We've got a good group coming. I'm anxious yes. to hear them tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. They've always been a blessing every time I've heard them. Mm -hmm. But we're just glad to be here tonight and thankful that we can be a part of this. Thankful that we've always been a part of this and always will be. Glory to God. Yes. All right, Sister Margaret. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. We have uh, Robin and Alan. And Robin, do you have some pledges to I read? Do. I do. Uh, we're a long ways from the 250000 that we need. Yes. yes. Um, so I'm asking you tonight. We're, uh, I count it a privilege to get to come here and ask you to give. Because when you sow into a ministry like this, you know, you, the reward is just over yeah. and over and over. This woman, this person got saved on the replay. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was, a re, it was the replay. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just, I, that just humbles me that, you know, that, that we can, that somebody, the, the spirit of the Lord is still even on the replays. I love yes. that. Yes. All right. Mabel Lloyd from Marydale, Kentucky, uh, $25 in honor of Wayne House. Alex Noble from Breathitt, ten dollars in honor of Archie, Bonnie, and Crystal Combs, and challenge every one of Grace Fellowship to give ten. Dolores Jones from Wayne, ten dollars a month. Fern Deaton from Perry, twenty-five dollars each month till the next telethon. Frank Oliver from Perry, a hundred dollars. Name with help from Estel, fifteen dollars, and request prayer for her family. Name with help from Powell, twenty-five dollars. Name with help from Powell, twenty-five dollars. Uh, Cela Barnett from Wayne, fifty dollars. All right, now. We are glad to be here tonight and to be a part of WLJC. And Robin and I have sponsored uh, this ministry for ever since we've been coming here. And of course, they've been such a blessing to us too. And and uh, but 
30 in, some years, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> but you know, uh, Sister Margaret, they, uh, they can call in in memory of someone that's gone on or they can call in in honor. You can call in in honor of someone. Uh, but I, I was thinking about the memory of those that supported this station so many years, uh, you know, that really uh, got behind the station. So many of the elderly people that would uh, support with 10 or 20 yes, a month or just, yes. just whatever they could because yes. like these that letters that she has received today, uh, it means so much to so many people that's not able to get out and go to church. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I walked through the uh, nursing home there in Menifee County and just about every uh, TV or a lot of them, not every one of them, but a lot, a lot of the of TVs yeah. will be on WLJC. Yeah. And there's people that we know that's there uh, that really enjoy this station. So... Uh, we need to do everything we can to keep it on the air and keep it going until Jesus comes. Yes. And, you know, just once every six months, uh, they come to you uh, for two weeks to help support the station. And uh, I, I want to challenge you tonight to do what you can. And I'd like to hear from a lot of people from Menifee County. Uh, there's a lot of good Christian people that goes to church there and and I'd like to hear from some of the churches there because when you support this station, you know, when someone gets saved, they may come to your church. Yeah. You know, right. we had a couple ladies show up at our church uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago and uh, they had drove uh, from Powell County and uh, we asked them, you know, why they had come. And they said, well, we've seen you on WLJC uh -huh. and, yeah. and we wanted to come over here and worship with you. And, and so, you, you know, if you'll get behind the station, uh, God will bless you. Yes. And we will reach this goal with the help of the Lord and with your help. We will reach this goal and, and just keep putting the gospel out there. The truth has got to get, keep going out, Brother Larry, because that's the only thing that will save people. Yes. You know, there's yes. so much false stuff out there today. And... And uh, so much stuff that is aimed at the children. Uh, my daughter was telling me the other day, my little three-year-old granddaughter was watching a cartoon and they was slipping this subtle message in there at a, at a three-year-old yep. level. They want to brainwash them. Right. That's what the world wants to do. They want to brainwash your children at a very young age. Yes. But, you know, we need Christian TV and we need yes, this we truth going out. Yes. So. Just do what you can tonight, and, and I'm sure that we'll reach the goal, and God will bless you. Amen. Yes, amen. All right. Uh, you'll be hearing more from uh, these, uh, these folk uh, because uh, uh, they're uh, going to be reading your pledges, and Dottie loves to do that artwork yes, on uh, color in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, now, she told me, she said, now, don't look too close at it. It said, uh, she gets so excited that she doesn't uh, she doesn't stay inside the line. So I told her, well, that's all right. We'd we'd forgive her for that. So, but you help excite oh, Dottie tonight, uh, coloring in those flowers, uh, petals, and uh, this is just a way that we can kind of keep total of what's coming in. And like Robin said, we're a long way from what the total mm -hmm. is. But tonight. Let's do our best tonight in case that yes. we did not have it tomorrow. That's right. And not any of us have been guaranteed tomorrow, right. have we? Our best Brother Jesus. Larry, would you lead us in prayer? Yes, Jesus. Father God, as we come before you right Thank now, Lord, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus. You, Lord. Lord, you said, if my people which are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, you said, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. But Lord, we're asking God that you would send forth ministering angels right now, Lord, even as we speak, to those that are lost and undone that are watching tonight, Lord, in need of a Savior. Send a ministering angel to them tonight, Lord, to minister to their heart, to their soul. Lord, that they would turn to you, call upon your name, and receive you as Lord and Savior. 
But Lord, speak to the, to the hearts and souls of those that are watching tonight, Lord. Lay on their hearts what you would have them to give into this station. And Lord, we pray for our singers tonight, Lord. We ask God for your blessing, your anointing to be upon every piece of music, every song. Let it be ordained of you tonight. And Lord, use our telephone operators tonight, Lord. Give them words to speak to those that call that are troubled and hurting, Lord. Give them words to speak to them tonight and pray with them. Glory to God. And Father God, we never fail to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for it all. And Lord, we commend this service into your hands. Believe in glory to God. Great things. Believe in great things tonight. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All Thank right, you. we uh, uh, glory to God. We will. Um, we got the. We got our singers Hallelujah. up, uh, and um, the Murphy family from down in uh, Corbin, and uh, they are all ready to sing for us. And uh, we're so thankful that that Russell's able to be with us. He's been in the hospital and had double pneumonia and so forth. And but the Lord's helped Praise him to God. be here, and so. Uh, so let's go over and welcome the Murphy family, and they'll be taking breaks along, and, but they, they always have a lot of good songs for us. So uh, uh, let's welcome the Murphy family. Yeah. 
truly thank the Lord tonight for all that he does. And, you know, it's what we have to do. We have to stay right on our knees and call upon his name. He told us in his word, he said, pray without ceasing. So tonight, that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep on praying and, and hope we can get some more on to the, the, the count tonight. And I'd like to see it up to about 100,000 myself <laughs> before we leave here. So get the phones to ringing and, and let us hear from you. If you need prayer, we'll pray for you. And, and especially if you need the Lord in your life. And, but it'd be even better to see a soul get saved. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Truly love the Lord tonight. And got some requests that we'll try to get to in just a little bit. All right, we're going to send this next song out to, uh, we've met several people out in stores and different places, and um, you got something you want to do there, Dottie? <laughs> okay, <laughs> but anyways, uh, we had told them we'd give them a, a little announcement, you know, and I think it was Keene family that we'd met over in um, Lily, Kentucky there, we was at a little store, and Buddy, we'd uh, talked to them a little bit. They'd said they'd seen us on the program here several times. And so we thank the Lord for them. And um, I think it was Connie Stevens and her husband. They, they're they listening in tonight. So we just like everybody to, to really get into the program tonight and donate a little something and, <laughs> and let the Lord bless you. Glory to God. Truly love the Lord tonight. We're kind of waiting on Dottie here to get her job <laughs> going. <laughs> so we got another leaf on that. All right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. We're just so thankful for everybody that's watching us tonight. We know that you're enjoying the singing. And I just wanted you to know we got this flower finished and we put a smiley face on it. But we've got a lot of flowers to go. Now there's 10 flowers and we've only got three of them done. Now, this is the Lord's house. We need your help. And uh, we only get on here two times a year and ask for money to keep this on the air. Now, it takes a lot of money. So we do need you to call in tonight, pledge, send your money in to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Now, uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that watches. I know you've got a lot of family that watches it. But if you're not watching it yourself and you're able to get out and go to church, think of those that can't. There's so many people that can't go to church or won't go to church, but they'll watch WLJC. It's surprising when I'm out that I find how many people are watching it, and we're so thankful for that. But let's all band together, believe in the Lord's work, get it out of the airways, how many, see how many souls we can get saved this year, that's the main objective, is to let everybody know something good about the Lord Jesus Christ. And let yeah. them know just what a wonderful God we serve every yes. day and how good he is to us. So let's keep that in consideration as we go back to the singing. All right. Amen. We truly thank the Lord for that. And, you know, just like she was saying, you know, there's a lot of people who can get out and go to stores and does that, just a little bit of everything. But there are people that are home and they can't get out. And this program is their church. This program is what keeps them connected to the to what's going on and everything. So I'll tell you what, I truly thank the Lord. Now, y'all had to pray for me. My, my voice is a little bit weak tonight. So I told the girls, I said, I'm going to let y'all do most of the singing tonight. And they looked at me like, what? <laughs> but uh, anyways, we're going to let them do another song here. Go ahead, sis. Four 
days Somebody said He'll soon be here The Lord's on His way Friend, don't be discouraged Cause He's still the same late a month late and still be right on time <laughs> the lord has a plan we just have to follow that plan glory to god truly love the lord tonight and uh i want to send this next song out to uh brother glenn and his wife kathy and um little gavin there we i know they're listening in tonight and uh but there's a lot of them. <laughs> brother harvey napier and them you know so i'm gonna try one here sis and give me key g <laughs> You know, gonna send this one right to Brother Harvey. He, I believe he'll like this one. <laughs> I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light, no more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Just 
Just like a blind man, I wandered a stone. Worries and pain I claim for my own. Then, like a blind man, God gave back his sign. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I was a fool to wander astray. Straight is the gate and narrows the way. Now I have traded the wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw. We saw that light and praise God for it. <laughs> praise the Lord. Let's do one more real quick one here and and whew, sing that song you wrote. <laughs> Until I hear from heaven or something. No, that, that, you know. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lord. Some are true, some are lies. The words that's been spoken can kill you inside. But I found in God's word that he never lies. And the words he has spoken will come in due.
Praise the Lord. We know you're enjoying and that good singing tonight, and we appreciate those of you that have already started to call in. Jeanette Gilbert from Clay, 100 in memory of Arnold Gilbert, her husband. Name withheld from Morgan, 100. Murray Fields from Whitesburg, 30. Loretta Br Brigham. Is that Brigham? Brigman? <laughs> I don't want to get this wrong. Bridgman. Bridgman. Loretta Bridgman from Pike 100. Name withheld from Pike 25. Hubert and Iva from Morgan 25. Larry and Kay Gillum from Morgan 25. Larry and Linda Price from Pulaski 100 in memory of their grandson Xander and in honor of their children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Name withheld from Pulaski 200 in memory of Mabel. Bonnie Brown from Johnson 20 in in honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. Name withheld from Macquarie, 100. Violet Abrams from Bull, 100, in memory of Kalis Abrams. Jerry Concrite from Montgomery, 100, in memory of wife Oma. Uh, Kathy Wynn from Whitley, 100, in memory of Jesse. Name withheld from Madison, 100, and once uh, asked for prayer. James Pennington from Breath at 20. Ethel Brumley from Pulaski, 25, in memory of my husband and daughter. Lois Rapp from Madison, 50. Dolly Pendleton from Madison, 25, in memory of family that has passed on and in honor of the Lighthouse Baptist Church. Anne, Annie Oakwin from uh, Flossmoor, Illinois. Uh, pledges 600 in memory of loved ones that have gone on and says that uh, she listens to WLJC by the way of the internet. And you know, there's so many ways that you can receive WLJC now uh, that you didn't have that opportunity back when it first started. Uh, it was only pretty much by antenna and uh, TV, but now you can get it over the internet and it's going completely around the world to other countries. And uh, we would like to hear tonight from those of you that uh, receive it by the way, internet or some other means besides the TV. If, if you get a blessing from this station, would you just call in and help support it? Brother Larry? Praise the Lord. $77,897. All right, so we've got a little ways to go yet. We're going to reach that $100,000 tonight. So you can call in at 606-464-3600. Or you can call 859-469-7482. And you can reach the operators upstairs and make your pledge. Or if you want to go online and, and do it that way, you can go to www.wljc.com and you can make your pledge online. Praise the Lord. So, but be sure to call in tonight and obey the Lord. Do what the Lord lays on your heart to do tonight. Yes, glory to God. Just call in your pledge. And all those riders in Christ that are out there tonight and you're watching me, you guys that ride those motorcycles, call in and make your pledge tonight. Praise the Lord. I've already went upstairs and made mine, so you need to call in and make your pledge. Let it be known. Glory to God. And all you other people that ride motorcycles, I challenge you also. You don't have to be a Riders in Christ member. I challenge you tonight to call in here and make your pledge. And all the churches, I challenge you to call and make your pledge tonight. Glory to God. Get on board with us and help us with this. Praise the Lord. We've got a group here tonight, the Murphy family, and oh, they've been doing an awesome job. I can remember several years ago when they were, they were coming and the young ladies were just little girls then. Praise the Lord. But they're young ladies now. <laughs> it's been a little while ago. I've seen her shaking her head. Yeah, it has. Praise the Lord. But I can remember that. I really can. They've also got CDs. If you'd like one of their CDs, you can contact uh, Brother Russell Murphy there at 606-515-1670. That's the Murphy family from Corbin, Kentucky. And we're going to go back to them now and let them sing some more to you and bless you with their songs. Praise the Lord. Brother was talking about when the girls was little. I think we've been coming here probably now twenty something years, and and they were like eight, nine years old when they started. <laughs> and uh, now I've got a new addition to the group. He's gonna start in their shoes, pick up where they left off, and that's my grandson. And he's gonna sing us one. And and he said, 
tell them, Papa, whoever likes my singing to pledge a hundred dollars. <laughs> I said, okay, I will. <laughs> so he knows all about that pledging. So we're going to let him sing one here. I, I think he's going to uh, sing something like Jesus loves me or something. So can you get a close up on him? Don't break the camera, but <laughs> all right, here we go. Are you ready, bud? Go ahead. Better days, Jesus, my letter. <laughs> Jesus loves me, yes I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him be strong. They are weak, but he is so. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Amen. <laughs> now he uh, he said, "I'll help you sing your song, Papa." <laughs> so we'll we'll send this one out to to everybody that's listening in. And uh, Lord, I had a list. Uh, we'll send this one out to Fayetta and her family and a bunch of them over at Barville. But here we go. I'm going to. A place so fair There'll be no pain No sickness there For God himself With his own hands Will dry my tears In glory Come go with me to glory land. Come go with me. Just take my hand. What a time we'll have. Oh, it'll be so Standing on that shore, I can see the blood wash throng. I can hear them sing. Oh, it's a brand new song. I've been redeemed by the precious Lamb. Never more to. Come go with me to glory land. Thank you, Lord. Come go with me. Just take my hand. What a time we'll have. Oh, it'll be so great. And come go with me. Standing on that shore, I can see the blood wash thrown. I can hear them sing. Oh, it's a brand new song. I've been redeemed by the precious land. Never more to in glory land and come go with me to glory land come go with me just take my hand what a time
Yep, thanks for my little backup here. <laughs> he He's the case. We was, I might have told this one once before, but we was going to church one night, and, and we were just talking. You know, he's going to sing. And I said, you going to preach tonight, bub? He said, yeah. I said, well, what are you going to preach on? He said, a microphone. <laughs> so he knew how to get it going. I said, well, what are you going to preach about? He said, Jesus. <laughs> But I tell you what, he sure makes me proud. I truly love my grandson. And my daughters and I, we've been traveling for, they always tell me, don't say that, Dad. <laughs> you know, they don't like you to tell the rage, but the, the, they're, they're ladies now. <laughs> but anyway, truly love the Lord, thank him for all that he does. And this next song, we're going to do that one I held on. And we're going to do this one for... Uh, Irene Reese and Irene uh, Brown, and uh, the, these are people we've just recently met and got to talk to a little bit, and we told them we'd send them out a song, so, and Sister, um, y'all can tell I'm out of breath, <laughs> uh, Connie Stevens and her family, and also, again, we'll send this one out to Brother Harvey and his daughter Vicki and granddaughter Nim, they They've been real good to us. I go up to visit them sometimes, and and but they just welcome me in their home, and and I tell you, it, it means a lot to me. So we'll send this next song out to them also. Truly love the Lord tonight. Y'all go ahead, sis.
just held on hold on to everything we got and the Lord to come through on time. He'll be there every time. Truly love the Lord tonight. Oh, Lord help me. Give me a G. Well, I'm so glad of John the Baptist till I don't know what to do. Well, I can't That old John was holy too. His meat was locust and wild honey gathered from the rocks and thorns. He got the Holy Ghost and shouted just before he was ever born. Well, I'm so glad of John the Baptist Till I don't know what to do Well, I can't prove By the Holy Bible That old John was holy too was a Baptist, others say he was a Jew, well I can't prove by the Holy Bible that he one was a preacher too, well I'm so glad of John the Baptist, till I don't know what to do. was holy too his meat was locusts and wild honey gathered from the rocks and thorns he got the holy ghost and shouted just before he was ever born well i'm so glad of john the baptist Till I don't know what to do Well, I can't prove by the Holy Bible That old John was holy too That old John was holy too Thank you, Lord. Woo. Okay, I'm out of breath. You'll have to do the next one. <laughs> Thank you, Lord.
Now that is just too precious. <laughs> We've gotten a lot of phone calls tonight saying, I want to pledge in honor of the little boy that's singing. People think that's very precious, and so do I. So you keep your phone calls coming in. He might sing another one. You never know. Yeah. But we do thank the Lord for him. We thank him. I know that they're training him up in the way he should go, and that's what it all comes together. Now, we are at 80,000, so we need to keep going forward tonight. Let's see if we can get this whole row done here, at least tonight, and then we'll do all this the other nights. Amen. But we'll take whatever the Lord sends. We want you to check your heart. If you can afford to send some, we would appreciate it so much. Send it to WLJC. P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. So you just uh, keep watching tonight and keep the phones ringing. We've got telephone operators upstairs ready to take your call. Let's go back. Praise the Lord. All right, we've got a few pledges here we want to read. It's Molly Blair from Johnson pledges $100. Audrey Barnett. From Clay, pledges $20 a month for the next six months. Ernestine Rogers from Carter, pledges $20 in honor of WLJC and the workers and all the staff. Lehman Jones from Laurel, pledges $25 in honor of Russell and the girls. Dorothy and Vicki Wells from Menifee, pledges $150 in memory of her sister Sharon Eversoe. Amos Mullins from Jackson, pledges $20 in honor of her Lord Jesus Christ. Ruth Easterling, from Morgan, pledges $50 in memory of Stanley Easterling. Celtus Jones from Menifee pledges $20 in memory of his wife, Sylvia. John and Wanda Cooper from Bath pledges $10. Meredith Ard from Pulaski pledges $100 in honor of the Murphy family. Phyllis Hayes from Pike pledges $300 in honor of our Lord in memory of husband Billy and my sister, says my sister, her baby sister, Jonah Coffey. Dennis and Ruth Spalding from Franklin pledges $25, listens every night to the program. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Stella Day from Columbia City, Indiana pledges $500 in honor of her children. Lee and Phyllis from Oregon pledges $50 in honor of the Lord Jesus. Irvin and Joyce Dotson from Pike pledges $25 in memory of Glad's Lane and Flora Hurley. Lucas Colton from Fayette pledges $50 in memory of wife Bertie Colton. Merle Barnell from Whitley pledges $100 in memory of husband Bill Barnell. Charles Morgan from Leslie pledges $20 in memory of Ed Morgan. Helen Healy from Whitley pledges $50. Carol Thomas from Morgan pledges $100 in memory of late husband Bob in honor of or in honor or Korea, Korea Church of God and Pastor David Hale. Okay. Meredith Ard from Pulaski pledges $100 in honor of Murphy family. Troy and Faye Mason from Fayette pledges $50 in honor of the little boy singing. Praise the Lord. So if I mispronounce one of your names, please forgive me. I, I don't do it intentionally. Praise the Lord. All right, Sister Robin, you got one? Yes, I've got some here. Uh, Harry Walters from Estill, $100 in memory of Theta Walters. Uh, Ernestine Fraley from Round, $10. Roger Crabfree, Crabtree from McCreary, <laughs> $25 in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ and Alan and Robin Ratliff. Harvey Napier from Harlan, $500 in honor of his granddaughter, Tanya Anderson. Tari Union Church from Menifee, $500. Full Gospel Evangelistic Ministry from Estill, $100 per month for six months. Pastor, Larry, Pastor Collins challenges all churches to pledge. Yeah. Larry and Sheila Collins from Estill, $25 a month for six months. Larry Collins from Estill, $25 and challenges all riders in Christ to pledge. Jeanette May from Pike, $25 in memory of husband and loved ones gone on. Mary Wilson from Madison, $25 and singers are doing a great job. Marvin and Georgia Chandler from Laurel, $100. Robert and Ernestine Lester from Pike, $25. Lonnie Whit from Clark Scott, $100 in memory of John Duh, his wife, and request prayer of family in Estill County. Uh, Edna Hirschberger from Carlisle, $25 in honor of, honor of Jesus Christ. Vivian and Judy Minton from Casey, $100, and they love the program. 
Kathy and Dwight Griffith from Russell, $25 in memory of Alma Turner. Keep us in your prayers. Anna from Scott, $100 in memory of her husband and son, Lloyd and David. Loves everybody and requests prayer for all, all of the family. Name with help from Menifee, $200. Name with help from Menifee, $500. Darlene from Bath, $25. Carol McGuire from Harrison, $50 a month till the next telethon in, in, in memory of Ronald McGuire. Joyce York from Madison, $50 in honor of her little grandson, three years old, Jason Davidson, who has cancer in the stem, stem of the brain. We need to keep him in our prayers. Okay, y'all. Amen. Thank you so much for these pledges that's coming yes, in. We amen. just appreciate it so much. And those folks from Menifee County, well, you just keep calling in. I know there's a lot of good people who lives there. And you just keep calling in. Uh, we're going to go to a little promotional video. This is just some things that they will send you when you send in your pledge as just saying thank you. It's uh, not, not trying to buy your pledge or anything. <laughs> Just a, just a token of appreciation. And here's some nice things that they will send to you when you send your pledge in. WLJC is brought to you by your tithes and offerings. Because of your prayers and financial support, the WLJC ministry continues to grow and reach across the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. To thank you for your support, everyone that contributes during the WLJC Spring Telethon will receive a special gift. For any amount given, you will receive the Hour of Harvest Magnet. Keep WLJC's info close by on the fridge or filing cabinet. Show your support with the Hour of Harvest Magnet. For your gift of $100 or more, you will receive the Hour of Harvest Devotional Notebook. Keep all your thoughts and notes in order in this special devotional. It's small and compact, easily carried or stored away. For your gift of $500 or more, you will receive the Hour of Harvest apron. Get to cooking with the Hour of Harvest. It has three pockets and a pin compartment for storage. This apron is coated with a special Teflon finish, making it stain resistant and worry free. We encourage you to visit WLJC.com and make your donations. It's fast and easy. You can also call 606-464-3600. Thank you for all your prayers and support. May God bless you. Okay, we're back, and those are just some things that they would love to send to you when you send your pledge in. Uh, Robin may even get me one of them aprons if she thought that would cause me to start cooking or something. <laughs> I might, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just, just something to say thank you. And, and, you know, we do really appreciate those that support the station. Uh, you know, when we're out and we hear so many uh, people tell how, what it means to them, and then every day they receive letters here, and Sister Margaret and them read every one of them, and, and they know on a daily basis just how much it means uh, to people that's out there listening. Sure. And, you know, there's no other station like it in eastern Kentucky, and now it's reaching out completely around the world. Uh, anywhere that they have internet, uh, YouTube, uh, Roku, there's just so many ways that they can receive it now and it's going completely around the world and, and uh, it's just a place that you can really uh, sow some seed and then one of these days, uh, we don't have to keep record of it, Brother Larry. Uh. You know, I don't, I don't know how many people has gotten saved since I started preaching. I don't even worry about that. Right. I just keep going after that other right. one that's lost, yes, you yes. know, because right. there's always some more that needs to come in. Amen. And truly the harvest is great and, and the laborers are few. So if you want to work for the Lord, I'm sure all you have to say is, Here I am, Lord, yes. send me. Yes. And, and, you know... You can get behind this station and uh, pray. There's a lot of people that pray for this station. There's a lot of people that pray for Sister Margaret and the workers uh, here at the station because the enemy's always coming against them. Amen. You know, I've, I've been out and I've heard people say things against this station that I knew absolutely wasn't true. Yeah, that's right. You know, so the devil's got a lot of people out there that's trying to destroy the, the station, but God... 
is going to stand behind this station. And, you know, I, I was working with a man one day, and he was complaining about preachers uh, uh, preaching about giving tithes. And, uh, you know, it's in the Bible. It's, it we, we don't make that part up. Right. It's in the Bible. It says, will a man rob God? And he said, where in have you robbed me? And, and the uh, Bible the says, in your tithes and in your offerings. Yeah. But as he was complaining about the preachers uh, preaching on paying tithes, and I said, well, I said, you know, God gives us the air we breathe, the water we drink, the strength to go to work, and only asked for 10 percent, Brother Larry. Right. Good you know, <laughs> he only asked Good for 10 percent. Right. Uh, but he gives us everything that we need. You know, we got shoes on our feet, clothes on our back. We got food on our table. And God just blesses us over and over and over. So, you know, I don't think it's a big thing that God says that he wants us to give 10 percent of what we make you know the government asks for a lot more than that don't they you know and and uh, they don't even use it wisely at least god uses your 10 percent wisely but uh, as the singers get ready to come back uh, we know that uh, you're enjoying the murphy family tonight they're doing a really good job and uh, if you would just get on the phone and, and call in tonight and make a pledge. You know, you can send it in by the month. Uh, really, those monthly pledges coming in every month, that really yes, helps yes. keep yes. things going. Amen. Uh, of course, a one-time, if you would rather just give a one-time offering, uh, then you can do it that way. Or you can go online, uh, www.wljc.com, and, and you can donate that way. But there's several ways you can give, and you just mail in your... Uh, pledge to uh, WLJC P.O. Box Y, Batable, Kentucky, 41311. I did get that That's right, right, didn't I? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't want to give the wrong address here. But uh, make sure you send it to Batable, not, yeah, not California. Yeah, please. make sure you send it to Batable, Kentucky, because if you send it to TBN or something, it won't never make it back to Batable. And uh, we're going to go back over to the Murphy family, and, and as they sing tonight, you just ask the Lord what, what He would have you to do. I know, I know there's many people listening. You've done all you can, and there's people even listening that you cannot, you, you, you don't have anything to give, you know. But you can pray. Yeah. You can pray. All of us can do that. We That's can right. pray for the station. We can pray that God will move on those that do, do have, have to That's give. Right. You know, there's a lot of people watch this station that Brother Larry, they could write a check for 5000 and not miss it. Uh, now, most of us are not in that position, but God has blessed them. He's blessed their business. And, and a lot of people that listen, they could uh, write a large check. And if you're in that position tonight, I encourage you to just sow into the kingdom of God. You'll, you'll not invest your money in anything any better than the kingdom of God. So let's go back over to the Murphy family. They're from Corbin, Kentucky, and, and you'll be listening to them. Amen. We want to send this next song out to Monty Helton. Uh, everybody calls her Mammy, and she said she was going to be listening in tonight, so we're going to send this one out to her. A special thanks to the family and everything. And uh, My grandson back here, he's ready to take over the program here. <laughs> Had to pray for him. But you know, we truly love the Lord tonight. Go ahead, Tiff.
long as we hold on to those nail-scarred hands, he'll never lead us astray. Thank you, Lord. Truly love the Lord tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's see what we got lined up here. <laughs> There's many times whenever we're, like I said, out in stores and places and people will tell us, I saw you on WLJC. Of course, they get it backwards. They say WJLC. <laughs> and it always tickles me when they do that. But I know what they're talking about. And, you know, like the brother was talking about a while ago, there's a lot of people that they'll sow, you know, seed of negativity and try to put somebody down and make them look like, well, this ain't right and that ain't right. But, you know, I'm glad we stand before God that sees all. <laughs> he knows all, and he knows who's telling the truth and who's, who's can be, who can be trusted. Lord, help my speech. And, you know, the girls and I, like I said, we've been coming to this program for, gosh, 25 years or longer. And, and I find Sister Margaret and the, the, the gang here at the, at the studio, I, I really believe that it's a work of God. Because if it wouldn't, I don't, I don't believe y'all would have been here that long. Because <laughs> the Bible says, if it be not of God, it'll come to naught. But to be here for over 50-something years, I believe the Lord's in it, and he'll be in it until he comes. And, and whenever he comes, well, it'll be all right. We won't need this program then. <laughs> but I know God is good to us all, and I give him praise, and I just trust the Lord for all that he does. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead. You can make the sun to shine, and Lord, without me, you can cause the dead to rise, and Lord, without me, you can make the blind to see, and you Never nothing without the Lord, that's for sure. I'm glad that my grandson is with me here tonight. He's a little rowdy sometimes, but he he knows about praying, and he'll be at home, and Stephanie, she'll tell me that he'll be down praying, and he says, Lord, save me, and <laughs> he knows all about that, don't he? Now, he's just four years old, and uh, a little big for his age, it looks like. He's smart as a tack, buddy. He, he can tell you <laughs> about the Lord, and, and he'll tell you what he thinks about you. And if he likes you, well, buddy, you, you're friends for life. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But what are we going to do next here?
too long this has gone on sing this means war i've got my armor on you won't ride me like before well enough is enough and i'm coming to get my stuff i'm gonna take Devil, you're under arrest. I'm fighting back this time. You see, I need to pass this test. Well, enough is enough, and I'm coming to get my stuff. And I'm gonna take back what the devil stole from me. Well, how bad do you want it? I want everything God's got for me. What is the word? Say about it, resist the devil, and he will flee. I'm coming to get my stuff. I'm going to take back what the devil stole from me. Devil, you thought you had my mind, but devil, you made a mistake. I'm fighting back this time, you see, in this yoke, it's got to pray. Well, enough is enough, and I'm coming to get my stuff. I'm going to take back what the devil stole from me. to get my stuff I'm gonna take back what the devil stole from me I'm gonna lean up is enough and I'm coming to get my stuff I'm gonna take back what the devil stole from me Over something that you can't explain Have you rolled across the floor? Have they had to pack you home? Now let me tell you about a new one That I've been a drinking old You can put new wine in an old bottle It's got to be a change This life that you've been living Has got to be rearranged If you think And go and drinking with me have you ever been so drunk that you didn't know your name so intoxicated over something that you can't explain have you rolled across the floor and they had to pack you home now let me tell you about a new one that i've been a drinking all something that you can't explain have you grown across the floor have they had to pack you home let me tell you about a new one that i've been a drinking old let me tell you about a new one that i've been a drinking old amen 
truly love the Lord tonight. He's good to us. Now, tonight, y'all might think that, well, Murphy's not all there and everything, you know, but I've been kind of sick lately going through <laughs> one thing after another, and and my body gets a little bit tired, seems like. But uh, we'll do a real quick one here if I can catch my breath. <laughs> but uh, thank you, Lord. You want us to let her do her part first? All right, go. we'll let Dottie, she's coloring in another flower. and add. Praise the Lord, that sounds good to me. Amen. The more we get, the more more God will bless. And Buddy, that's what it's all about here. Thank you, Lord. I know it costs us a lot to keep these lights on here. Goodness. Go ahead. <laughs> well, praise God. We've got another 5,000. We're just so Woo. thankful for that. We yeah. thank all of you that are calling in. We do appreciate you. Let's continue to listen, but let's continue to keep the phones ringing. We're keeping the telephone operators upstairs busy. That's what we want. You just keep uh, the phones ringing and keep the money coming in. We need it. It needs to be here for WLJC. Let's go back over. Amen. My grandson, he'll help me on this one again. This is his, one of his favorite songs. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be on? There's a long black train bound for nowhere. But the train I'm on is bound for home. That long black train is the devil. And he's stealing men's souls every day. He offers great fame and fortune, but one day it'll all fade away. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be home? There's a long black train down for nowhere, but the train I'm on is bound for home. Now this train I'm on is bound for glory. Some call it that sweet, beautiful land where there's peace and love everlasting. And Jesus will be the light of that land. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be home? There's a long black train down for nowhere, but the train I'm on is bound for home. The choice is yours for the making. Time's running out, can't you see? Come and get your ticket for glory. Come ride this train with me. Do you know which train you'll be riding? Do you know which train you'll be home? There's a long black train bound for nowhere, but the train I'm on is bound for home. Yeah, this train I'm on is bound for home. Thank you, Lord. Okay, we want to thank the Lord for those of you that are calling in tonight and that total is climbing right on up there, and we're glad to see that. Uh, Alina and Clinton from Lily pledges 50 in honor of the Lord Jesus and in memory of all the loved ones that's gone on. Name with help from Pulaski 100 in memory of husband and in honor of the young boy that's singing. Pierce Johnson from Madison 100 in honor of the young boy. Uh, name with help from Laurel 100 in honor of the little boy. Has he got a name? We'll quit calling him Little Boy if we. 
Elijah, okay, Elijah. in honor of Elijah. All right. uh, Bella Bentley from Pike, 100 in honor of Elijah. Uh, Lena Gilbert from Pulaski, 10, and request prayer. Wayne Douglas from Whitley, 25, in honor of Elijah. Uh, Geraldine Davison from Jackson, 100, in honor of Lord Jesus Christ and in honor of Elijah and also in memory of husband Roy Davison. Harris Grocery from Russell, 100, uh, in honor of Woodrow Wilson and uh, Woodrow Wilson Singers. Hmm, uh, I'm probably not getting... In honor of Woodrow Wilson, and says the Singers is doing a great job. I'll get it right here in a minute. <laughs> Name with help from Pulaski, 200. Uh, Sylvia and Louis Phillips from Pulaski, 100, in honor of Elijah. Janie Ross and Larry Ross from Fleming, 25, in memory of uh, Mother uh, Ruby Creech. Margaret and James Sears from Pulaski, 100, in honor of Elijah. Uh, Harvey Napier from Harlan, 500, in honor of of the singers and especially the little boy, he said. Uh, Steve and Valerie Maddox from Pike, 500 in honor of Elijah. Uh, Charles and Francis from Leslie, uh, pledges 10 in honor of all ministers. Ima Jones from Perry, 100. Uh, she's 90 years old uh, and needs prayer for two children that watch and watches every night. Brother Larry. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> okay, Johnny and Kay Witters from Pulaski pledges $50 in honor of mother and granny. Eve Sanders from Madison pledges $25 in honor of Murphy family, especially Elijah. David and, David and Cynthia, Cynthia Anna, I think it is. Colton from Rock Castle pledges $15 in honor of the of Elijah singing and request prayer for, for their lost children. Joe Couch pledges $100 or $10, I'm sorry, $10 in honor of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ray and Shirley Hammond from Laurel pledges $10 in memory of husband in heaven and I am going to meet him. Praise the Lord. Naomi Cantrell from Johnson pledges $20 in memory of mother Dorothy Ross in honor of Dad, Charles Ross. Lois Isaacs from Jackson pledges $100 in memory of Pastor Lester Isaacs. Elsie from Pulaski pledges $100 in honor of the singers. Hank and Emma Wilson from Laurel pledges $200 in honor of children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Jesse Franklin from Pulaski pledges $100 in honor of wife, of 64 years, Wilma Jean Franklin. Mabel Rice from Leslie pledges $50 in honor of Stenick Pentecostal Church. Willis and Donna and Max from Leslie pledges $50 in honor of Elijah. James and Lottie McGeorge from Laurel pledges $200 in honor of Elijah singing and wants to challenge all others to pledge the same. Billie Jean Fields from Johnson pledges $100. Amos and Barbara Riley from Leslie pledges $200 in honor of Elijah. Praise the Lord. All right, glory to God. We've been listening to the Murphy family, and we're going to go back to them here just shortly. They're from Corbin, Kentucky, and they do have CDs. If you'd like a CD, you can contact Russell Murphy at 606-515-1670. And we're at 86000 and $17. We need to hit that $100,000 mark tonight before we go off the air. So keep calling and bringing your pledges, calling your pledges in, get them in here tonight, and let's get that up there to $100,000. Dottie no one needs to come down and color in some more petals on that flower over there. All right, let's go back to the Murphy family. Praise the Lord. It's a good thing we brought him tonight. <laughs> I forgot to tell everybody his name. I was just calling him Bub. That's what I always called him. <laughs> but his name is Elijah. We always call him Eli and Bub and Boo and just whatever we can think of, I guess. <laughs> 
but I, I'm so thankful that everybody's calling in a pledge in his honor, and that, that really makes Papa really proud. Glory to God. But we'll let Tiffany sing this song, Mercy Walked In. Thank you, Lord. We sure thank God for that mercy, don't we? I want to send this next song out to uh, Brother Charlie and his wife, Brother Wade, and them all over there at the church, and all just say everybody at the Church of Bogletown, because <laughs> if we we mention names there, buddy, everybody, uh, uh, it'll take us all night. But anyways, truly love the Lord tonight. I wrote this song uh, quite a few years ago, and uh, I'm, I just felt led to sing it. Glory to God! It's called "Lord, I Need You."
to be my friend angry pillows flow over me I can't swim I can't see Lord I need you I need you Lord I need you to be my friend Lord to cleanse me from all my sins Lord I need you Lord, please hear my cry. Oh, Lord, please don't pass me by. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Thought I had friends whom I could call, but there's no one there at all. Lord, I need you to be my friend. Thought I could stand on my own Thought I could make it all alone Lord, I failed you I'm not strong, Lord, I need you Lord, I need you to be my friend, Lord, to cleanse me from all my sins, Lord, I need you, more than a friend. Send this next one out. <laughs> I'm out of breath, bless the Lord. Uh, uh, to Brother Larry Mink and his family and all the people up there at the church and at Philadelphia Baptist Church there in Broadhead. You know, we truly thank God for all that he does for us, the many churches that has us to come and be with them. And, you know, we just truly thank the Lord for all he does. The girl's going to do this one here, and we send it out to everybody. And 
Brother Harvey Napier. We're going to mention him one more time. <laughs> He's been a good, good brother and a special blessing to my family. Thank you. to God. We've been listening to the Murphy family from Corbin, Kentucky. Uh, they do have CDs, so if you want to get in touch with them, get a CD, you can call 606-515-1670. And Brother Russell Murphy will take care of you. So I'm so glad to have them tonight share their time with us. Praise the Lord. They enjoyed Elijah. Praise yes, God. Amen. All right. We got some pledges here. We want to get through those. But you can continue to call in at 606-464-3600, or you can call 859-469-7482. Still got time to call in your pledge. We still just, we still got some ways to go here. We're $87,738. So pick up the phone and call your pledge in. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. All right, Vicki Parton from Williams, Williamsburg pledges $15. Norma. Scarberry from Floyd pledges $100 in memory of husband Donald and in honor of Mercy, Murphy family and song come, come go with me to glory land. Okay. Margaret Isaac from McGoffin pledges $100 in memory of mom and dad and brother in honor of Robin and Alan Ratliff. Pat Halt 
from Fayette pledges $100. Bentley and Bobby Durham from Broadhead pledges $100. Name with Hell from Montgomery pledges $500. Virginia Harris from Jessamine pledges $50 in honor of Elijah singing. David with David from Whitley pledges $20 in honor of Stephanie, the bass player. Robert and Gladys McGinnings from Pulaski pledges $200 in honor of Elijah. Erna Whitaker from Letcher pledges $20 and requests prayer for Ellen or Elaine Smith. Request prayer for Elaine Smith. Betty bon Bonger. That ain't the way you pronounce it. What is it? Bunger, looks like. Bunger, okay. Pledges $25 in honor of Elijah and requests prayer from Linda Scott, her daughter, who is having a brain scan on Wednesday. Russell Ingram from Bath pledges $100 in honor of his wonderful wife, Angel Ingram. Lisa Denny from Pulaski pledges $10 and requests prayer. Robert and Wanda Carsoner from Franklin pledges $300. Lessa Hodge from Jellicoe, Tennessee pledges $25. Irene and George Godsey from Wolf pledges $56 in honor of 56 years of marriage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Uh, they want me to reread this. Uh, Bella Bentley's great grandmother wants everyone to know that Bella is getting baptized Sunday. She's five years old. Praise Praise the Lord. Um, Robert and Nola from Laurel pledges $50 for the little boy. Shirley Presley from Bath, $20 in honor of the little boy. Lois Butcher from Johnson, $20 in memory of her husband James and enjoying the program. Annie and Bob Curtis from Jessamine, $300, just moved here and, uh, two weeks ago and are loving the program. Name with help from Morgan, $10. Denton Bereen from Laurel, $50 in honor of the little boy and Jesus Christ. Billy and Barbara Anglin from Anderson, $100 in memory of loved ones and in honor of the little boy. Name with hell from Laurel, $20. Name with hell from Breathitt, $50. Mildred Corey, Corey from Menifee County, $100 in memory of husband Connor Corey and enjoys WLJC. Anna Hansel from Anderson, $10 a month till the next telethon in honor of Murphy family. Sammy Wyoma and Dean Hall from Round, $25 in memory of Vicki Riley. Daryl and Beth Singleton from Knott, $20 in honor of Lots Creek Baptist Church, United Baptist Church. Name with hell from Boyle, $25 in request prayer for granddaughter. Janice Helton from Lincoln, $200 in honor of all the veterans, past and present. Love the Murphy Singers. Now be sure to mail your, your pledges in now when you, you don't forget it. And make sure you uh, mail them to WLJC. P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, not to California. <laughs> okay, Murray Napier from Casey, 50, in honor of Francis Sissian and Dorothy Nolan. Ruley Manning from Whitley, 50. Leland and Catherine Sawyer from Whitley, 10, in honor of the Elijah and the Singers. Uh, Harvey Napier from Harlan, 1,000 in honor of Margaret and Don and all the workers. Uh, and this is uh, not a mistake. When we keep uh, reading his name over and over, he keeps he pledging that, over and right. over. And, and we Bless really, yeah, we really appreciate that. Yes. Uh, Kenneth and Carol Pitts from Menifee, 100 in honor of children and grandchildren and in honor of the Murphy family. Yes. Nan Quartz uh, from Perry, 25 in memory of two sons that have gone on to be with Jesus. And uh, she put this little uh, note in there, said, tell Alan his wife is beautiful. She didn't even mention me, Bless but I don't know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Stephen Robinson, uh, Battle Scar Soldiers and Prison Ministry from Garrett, 200 in honor of Wanda Messer and Mary Robinson and all those that are... Uh, in honor of all those that are sick and shut in that this is their church. Yes. Bill Mahan from Whitley 100 in memory of wife uh, Flora. Name with help from Clark 100. Uh, 
looks like Dottie's got a friend. A friend of Dottie's has called in $100 in honor of Dottie. Uh, Merlin and Charles Barnes from Wayne, 25, in honor of grandkids. Beatrice Brown from Whitley, 15, plus $15, uh, um, I guess, a month until the next uh, telethon, in memory of John C. Brown. Lonnie and Brenda Brewer from Jackson, 100, in honor of their children and grandchildren. Julie Hale, uh, 20, in honor of her husband, Paul. Uh, today's his birthday. Donald Lewis from Morgan, $10, in memory of Brother Russell Lewis. So we appreciate those of you that's called in. We would love to uh, see that go on up to 100,000. You've still got five minutes to call in. And of course, you can call in anytime, but, but uh, we've got five more minutes before we go off the air for this evening, and then they'll be back on uh, tomorrow and the rest of this week. Uh, but we appreciate all of you that's called in. We're going to go back over uh, to Robin, and we have the prayer request here, and we've read through them, and we're going to pray over these prayer requests, okay? Let's get this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father God. Father, in the name yes, of Jesus, Lord. we come to you we on behalf of these requests that's been called in. Every spirit of the enemy, yes, every spirit of infirmity Hallelujah. that's yes. come to make these yes, people Lord. sick, we Move rebuke tonight, it in the Father name God. of Jesus, this demon Send spirit of cancer. I rebuke Lord. you in Jesus' name, and I command you to leave Hallelujah. these people's bodies. Yes, Lord, I'm Lord. asking you to heal these that yes. can't breathe. Hallelujah. Heal these, Lord, that their kidneys yes, are not Lord. functioning. Heal Lord, them, God. Touch their bodies tonight. We know you've done paid the price for it, and we send your anointing, the anointing of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. out over these airways the tonight to Jesus. touch their bodies and make yes, them whole Lord. in Jesus' Glory name. And we thank you, Lord, yes, for doing Lord. the work. We Hallelujah. thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Glory to thank God. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We appreciate you so much for tuning in tonight and those of you that have pledged and, and uh, stood behind the ministry. Some yes. of you have been with this ministry for many, many years yes. and you know how many people it's reaching each year. Yes. Uh, I think over 250 some got saved last year. Now that's a good sized church right yes, there. That's right. And uh, you know, just day after day, people tune in and they get help from this ministry. And and the people that come up here that we're not up here to try to build up ourselves or or any one person, we're just trying to lift up Jesus because right. He said if we'd lift Him up, He would draw all men to Him. That's right. So until tomorrow night, may God bless you is our prayer. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.